Hello, welcome to Break Check. I'm Craig, and behind the camera we've got Brian. And today we have the 2021 Lexus IS 350 F Sport. What that means is we get the 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6, also found in the Toyota Camry, the Lotus Evora, the Toyota Sienna, the, well, you name it, it's in a lot of things, which means it's really reliable. How does it work in this? Stay tuned for the full review, we'll tell you exactly how it works in this. But we're gonna talk more about the third generation IS. It's been around for a little bit, actually, since 2013. But in 2021, it got a major refresh. And that's, guys, that's where it looks like it's worked out a little bit, and it has. One of the major prominent things is this LED treatment right here. It's incorporated into the headlight. It used to be separate. I think it looks a lot better in this application. Grill, they got this whole F-Sport LFA grill thing going on, and it works here. I think it looks really good. Some people say it's too much. In the other applications, I think here it works. This little sculpt in the hood is just one of those little small little details that really makes this generation look good. Let's go around the other side real quick. Because there's something to do, with, there is some options with the F-Sport. You can get the F-Sport, but you don't have to get the handling package. This one came with the handling package, which, come, which is about $4,000. comes with these 19-inch BBS wheels. That is worth every penny. That's why you need to get it. There's also some really good trick active suspension things, which is again in the full review. Um, continuing along the sides, again, the sculpting just works here. Uh, they didn't, it's, there's a lot of details. The more you look at it, um, it works really good. And the ubiquitous across every car now, the LED that goes across the entire rear end. Well, interesting to see if that trend continues or not, but I think it looks good here. Some love it, some hate it. Um, also, you'll see with this uh, F-Sport, there's a really aerodynamic, lightweight. Um, what that is, is that's a truck, trunk handle, see? So oh, you lift a oh, trunk with that. that. I don't think that's how they yeah, that, no, that's what they do. That's a trunk handle. So see, so you close it with that too. So that's a really nice feature of Lexus to put that in there. So let's move around to the interior. Moving on to the interior, sorry about the lighting, but uh, the weather map you see here, Brian, um, told us it was raining. So well, it was right. It's raining pretty good. So we had to move to a parking garage. But we've got a uh, manually activated uh, up is up, down is down, wrong, manual transmission, paired to an eight-speed in-house transmission. This is the rear-wheel drive. The all-wheel drive has a six-speed unit. Um, we think we lean towards the all-wheel drive six-speed unit, but uh, that's for you to decide, tell us. But the interior, here's the best part of the interior. The qu Lexus quality just exudes in here. Um, it's not the most modern, it's not the sleekest, it's not the maybe the coolest, but it works and every touch point, every knob, every dial feels precision. It feels like it's just gonna last for 30 years without having any rattle or squeak, which it probably is. So infotainment, maybe a little to be desired. They're still got this, they're holding on to this track pad. They do not wanna let it go. I will tell you they're having, coming out with some new models that things starting to disappear. So I think this is probably the last iteration of that. You have the whole F-Sport um, dials in here which is really neat. You can, the whole thing will move as you start it. Um, let's see if we can get that on the camera here. Got a little cool startup sequence. The thing comes on, it's in the center, and then it'll move to the right, which is pretty neat. Well, at some point, and there you go. So pretty cool, the whole thing actually moves and you get your different sport modes and all that fun stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. It's not the roomiest, but it's not too small or compact. For me, it's just about right, but I'm 5'9". Um, my brother's a little bit taller. Brian, you're 6'4", and a little tighter. Mm, it's a little tight, but actually, this is actually the first IS I can get comfortable in. That's the first time I've been really comfortable in one. So that's saying a lot. Yeah, so absolutely. with that, uh, that's it for the walk around. Stay tuned for the full review. We get into all the details of all the fun stuff. Um, really like this, but let us know what you think. Check us out on brightchickshow.com for all the fun stuff. And you know, hit all the bells and all those things. <laughs>